Right, so the circuit we've got is sort of that, except for I haven't got the LED in there, it's driving the LED from the output of the Arduino. Just to give it more power, I think I might need to stick a transistor in there just to give it more current or something. So let's switch on harder. And also, I've got a resistor in from that to the ground to give it high speed switching. And it does actually, it's very good. 1K resistor. I'll modify this circuit to give you the actual output. But the rest of the circuit is the same. You know what I mean? Uh, so the actually external transistor is obviously acting as a Darlington pair uh, against a 1K, and then we've got the emitter follower outputs, the high gain current amplifier to the gate. And the, and the probe is on the uh, on the gate. You can see it from there. Yeah, you should be able to, about the middle of the picture. So we've got the probe on the gate, okay. And as you can see, now it's quite a high speed switch. None of this slopey business that we had before. And what I'll do is I'll make it very, very narrow. And then we'll ramp up the scale so we can see. Uh -huh, Marcus. And that's, oops. So if we take it from the top there, and the bottom, ooh, so it starts flicking across the screen. There we go. Uh -huh. And at the highest voltage there, it's roughly there, isn't it? Yeah. So let's box it in, and you can see, in fact, you can see it in the picture. 10 microseconds is the actual uh, switching speed and the voltage from top to bottom is 8.63 volts which is enough to turn it on. That's obviously on a down. Uh, I guess uh, if I change the trigger to the other slope oh. and then we'll put it up full so we can see. There we go. So the switch on is obviously much faster, probably about half. So let's, uh, let's move that in so we get the trigger to there. Mm -hmm. Right, it's about right, isn't it? So that's seven microseconds. Right, now I want it one microsecond, but that's good enough. For the, what we're doing here, that's fine. And you can see uh, where we are. So the temperature is about 700 on the input. I don't know what's too, but I do know it's, it's quite hot at 800. It is increasing now because it's still PWM. Okay, if I take that off and then change the slot so it shows the full speed up. And if I turn it up to full, there we go. <coughs> so that's actually just simply turned it on completely now as far as I can tell. The temperature is still increasing because it's dissipating current, but if I just blow on the transistor, the actual output, from a distance, then you can see it's dropped. So a heat sink or a small fan would probably maintain that temperature. Yeah. Okay. But there it goes. And if I put it on 50%, so you can see that's a nice square on the input. This is on the gate, of course. I uh, could probably get a quick trace from the output. There we go. No, it's come off it again. Huh. Can I get it on there? There we go. The trace on the output. Let's just bring that down a bit. Now, obviously, we've got a back EMF thing going on there. There we go. And that's full. This is, this is from the... Uh, negative side, so this is across the actual um, transistor, the gate trans, the um, MOSFET. There we go. And there you go, that's full on, so obviously it's ground. And if you take it halfway, you can see that the voltage peak to peak is 14 volts because we've got, got the extra kick. Yeah. Power pack voltage is actually 12, I believe. Yeah, power pack voltage is 12 volts. Okay, there we go. 
and that works. You can see, there you go, you can see how the back EMF is, is kicking in. As the motor speeds up and slows, ooh. Oops. Power packs. There you go. There you go. That's good enough. As you can see, it's about 50% is there, I think. There we go. Okay. How's the motor working? Just so you know, it's an actual motor. I can really control it now. There you go. Let's just bring it. There you go. Let me just take it down a little bit. I see. Showing the PWM across the uh, MOSFET. Yeah. And the temp is. I think I put a limit of 800. So if that climbs to 800, it'll shut the output off. But again, just basically blowing across the circuit board, not even targeting at the transistor, is enough to bring the temp down. So we're okay. Yeah.